Hello everyone, welcome to Straight Camp. In this video, we're going to learn about the basic problem solving regarding to mass spectrum. In order to do that, we're going to use the equation for average atomic mass, which is written as the summation of isotopic abundance times isotopic mass over the summation of isotopic abundance. Remember, QI over here stands for isotopic abundance. That letter I is for isotopic, and Q is just a symbol for abundance. Same goes to the MI symbol over here. The letter I stands for isotopic, and yes, M over here is for mass. Do remember this formula because this is going to be very important for the problem solving that we're about to do. Sometimes we're going to call this by its nickname. Okay, so it is nicknamed as the Kimi Key formula. That is one of the ways how you're going to be remembering this formula in exams. Remember Kimi Key, then you should be able to remember the average atomic mass formula. Let's have a look at the first problem. So this is the first basic problem for mass spectrum. As you can see in here, this is a very typical mass spectrum. Okay, so this is a very typical mass spectrum. And as you can see, we have two very important axes that you need to know. You have the intensity and you have the mass. Remember the formula just now, as you can see over here, we have the isotopic abundance. Abundance refers to the axis over here. So those are the abandoned abundance at 52, 9, 12, 14, 13. These are the abundance. And sometimes in exams, they're going to write that as percentage intensity. If you see percentage intensity, it is the same as your QI. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay, and then the axis right over here, this is the isotopic mass. Remember, isotopic mass. Okay, so that's how you're going to be reading the mass spectrum, like what we have talked about in the previous video. So let's have a look at the rest of the question. So the question wants you to find out the average atomic mass for zirconium. We know that the average atomic mass, the formula is this, okay? Remember, the nickname is Kimi Key. So how do you solve this? Just by simply plug in these value inside here, by doing that, you should be able to get your average atomic mass for zirconium. It's very basic, right? So let's have a look at how we're going to substitute the value inside the Kimiki formula. Okay. I'm going to show you the top bit first. So what we have here, so those are the QI, okay, the one in yellow, those are the isotopic abundance, okay, you have all of them written right over there, and then each of them will be multiplied by their mass, isotopic mass. So that one I'm going to circle in green. So you have all of these numbers over here. Those are for the isotopic mass. Okay, so you have 52 times by 90. 
9 times by 91, 12 times by 92, 14 times by 93, and 13 times by 94, just like what you can get from the mass spectrum. And what you do for the bottom bit for the summation of QI or summation of isotopic abundance, you're just going to simply add all of these numbers here to get the value. Okay, so I'm just going to show you the whole thing now. Okay, so as you can see, you have 52 plus 9, 12, 14, 13, just like what you have in there, and therefore you should be able to get your final answers, 91.3, and that is the unit, okay? So you need to have the units being written. Average atomic mass, okay, for average atomic mass, the unit is AMU, or sometimes they're just going to write as U. So you can use either one of them. Now, let's have a look at the second basic problem. Okay, so right over here, instead of giving you a mass spectrum, just like what you have in the basic problem number one, the question just gave you the information without the diagram. But it doesn't mean that you cannot solve this problem. You still can do it because you do have enough information. When you look at the question, okay, when you look at the questions over here, it gives you the percentage, all of them right there for all of the iron isotope. We have three isotopes, okay? In this question, you have iron 54 isotope, iron 56 isotope, and iron 57 isotope. And each of them will be having their own QI or isotopic abundance, including this one, you have four. Okay, so it is not three, but you have four isotopic abundance. Okay, you have four isotopic abundance. And also, what is given to you when you look at the questions are the isotopic masses. You have one, two, three, and four. You have your QI, okay? You have your isotopic abundance. Okay? And you have your isotopic mass. So the first step that you need to do is by using the same average atomic mass formula, the first step that you need to be doing over here is try to extract all of the information first, what I have done over here, so that it will be easier for you to get the calculation correctly, okay? So you're not going to miss anything. All right. Okay, so this is how it looks like. When I put all of the information in here into a table, it's, ki it's kind of like optional. You don't have to do this, but if you can do this for your exam, it will help you a lot, okay? You will not gonna be missing a value or you're not gonna be getting the wrong value multiplied together. So from there, what we, 
going to do is we're going to take all of the information here. You're going to plug into your Kimiki formula. And by doing that, you should be able to solve the problem. So this is just the same as what we have done just now. There you go. So the one in red, those are your isotopic abundance. So you have your isotopic abundance right there. And you're just gonna times that with isotopic mass. Okay, just like what I have done in here. And down there, you're just going to put the summation of all of the isotopic abundance, and you should be able to get your final answer. Usually, you will be getting this one, they're going to give you one mark for this and one mark for your final answer. Same goes to the first ones now. You'll be able to get one mark for this and one mark for that. Do not forget your unit because average atomic mass, it has a unit of A and U. This one as well, you have the units over here. Now we're going to look at the third basic problem. Over here, it's slightly different from what we have looked at now. The question gives you, okay, the question gives you the abundance ratio. You have the abundance ratio right over here. And how are you going to use this information to solve this problem? In this question, you only have two isotopes. You have isotope number one, isotope number two. Okay, you have chlorine 35. This is chlorine 35 and chlorine 37. And the abundance ratio of this is written as that. So what is the abundance ratio? Abundance ratio is just your QI for chlorine 35 over QI for chlorine 37. So that is what it meant by abundance ratio. And then the question goes further. It says that the relative mass of 35 chlorine, chlorine 35 and Chlorine 37 is 34.9689 and 36.9659, respectively. So these numbers refer to the isotopic mass, okay? You have your isotopic mass right over there. Still, we're going to be using the same formula, but in step one, what we're going to do over here, we're going to try to use the abundance ratio to get the information for your abundance, isotopic abundance. Okay, so this is how you can do it. Okay, so this is a very piece very important piece of information. So by applying your mathematical understanding, when you look at this ratio, it looks like a fraction, right? So through mathematical, logical thinking, when you have 3.127, this one is the same as over one, okay? 
3.127 over 1 is equivalent to 3.127. Yes, so this is mathematical logic. So when you do like this, then it is safe for you to assume that the isotopic abundance for chlorine-35 will be this. So that is the isotopic abundance for chlorine-35. And the isotopic abundance for chlorine-37 will be 1. Okay, so that is just the tricky part for this basic problem over here. So next, we're just going to use the information that we have done, that we have integrated from the abundance ratio, and you compare with the mass that, that are given to you right there. In step two, you're just going to try to build a table, okay, just like what we have done just now, to help you to check your data. Okay, so we have it like this. So for this isotopic abundance, it is related to the mass right here, 34.9689, based on the question. So you have to read the question carefully. And the isotopic abundance number one, it is related to 36.9659 according to your question. So what do you need to do in step three? Yes, we're just gonna take these values. You're gonna substitute into your Kimi key formula and you should be able to solve the problem. Okay, this is how you're gonna do it. Same like what we have done just now, you have your isotopic abundance there. So this is the isotopic abundance times with isotopic mass. Okay, so it has to be correlated. And don't forget right here, this is the summation of QI, which is the summation of this together. When you add together, you have it right here. Then you will be able to get the final answer, which is 35.45 AM.